What's happening everyone? It's your boy here to hit back again with another great amazing tutorial. Well, this video of today it's gonna be epic. Um, so if you guys usually do that. So yeah, um the video of today, definitely you click this video because you wanna learn how you can create a shape builder. I'm not creating a shape builder, but using the shape builder tool out of creating your own kind of design. Now, shape builder tool helps you to slice, you not know, slicing like a knife. Now, it helps you to slice those kind of shapes or text or outlines on your workspace. Now, for just the elephant in the room, let's get started. Let's go to rectangle tool, just drag drop the whole rectangle tool. After that, just keep your rectangle tool somewhere here. Then, then we change the color. I think we can use black to be much better. Now, after that, create some text. You can create something like motion. After using motion, then we just on motion and keep it somewhere here so as we can just see it. Then click I on the keyboard for dribbler. Just select some colors out of the background. So after that, just adjust this kind of text somewhere here. Then, as you can see, we're having a good minimal kind of motion text. And what's next? It's just that we're gonna right click the motion text and do some outlining. Now, it's so great doing some outlining there because outlining removes everything. And it's the best way of using outlining. Perhaps you're giving your work to somebody else who doesn't have a phone type kit. Now, as you can see, guys, right now I can just change this kind of shape with a different type of color. Now, I can keep it red or can keep any color in wool like. I think. I think yellow must be a good combination. Okay, yellow must be a perfect fit. Now, what we go, I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna just ins insert the whole color inside. Now I'm gonna do a, a good kind of zooming in. Zooming in, zooming in, yeah, that's, that's great. Now after that, I'm gonna hold shift. I'll make sure that I've selected the shape and the text. After that, just press shift plus M for the shape builder, then remove this one and remove this one and there's a smaller one we'll get back to it and remove this one and remove this one and remove this one and remove this one and 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 has becoming so many and so remove this one remove this one and 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 this one mostly that one and this one now there's something which you're gonna see here closely that we didn't remove some of the outlines now what I'm gonna do do the same selection click on this shape and this shape then press shift plus M make sure that you're zooming in in your workspace so as you can just do one change at a time but sometimes some elements that are so smaller that you can just do a change up to you zoom in after that click this shape and this shape then after that click here on this shape just delete it and delete it as you can see we have a good kind of look it looks, it looks nice so this is how you can use shape builder not only that you can use a lot of shape builder on your shapes matter of fact if you take this shape here i can just set it somewhere here yeah now sometimes you ask yourself you can use this way but sometimes you want to feed another shape inside another shape does it even make sense? You should feel another shape inside another shape by just duplicating it. After duplicating it, just put it somewhere here. Then we keep it somewhere here. I hope so. Then just do this way. Now as you can see guys, I did a rounded, but the rounded happened on this corner. As you can see this corner, let me just change the color to make a difference there. There is this kind of corner here and I don't like that corner I just want it to be square but I want the rounded to be somewhere here I want the rounded to be here now what I'm gonna do is zoom in, in again then click this shape adjust it till here now there is the moment whereby Pathfinder comes in again now hold shift then do selection then shift plus M then after that remove this shape then delete it as you can see right now we have our motion with our rounded shape nice and crispy very nice and crispy we can click this one i on the keyboard for the drip click here then you can see guys we cloned the color from there 
and we insert it there so yeah this is how you can use shape builder on your workspace and i hope some of you guys you're gonna be creative and make something which is so nice and crispy now let me, let me just do this way Control plus g make it somewhere there then we're gonna do some gradients here to make that kind of feel looks good let's keep it somewhere here this is a square, send it at the back, send it at the back, send it at the back here. Now press G on the keyboard for gradient. After that, click on the gradient section. Then come on the freeform. I like the freeform. The new, actually Photoshop gives you a new freeform of gradient. I, if you didn't check out that video of gradients, make sure that you click this card here up to check it to the video and you're gonna enjoy all that kind of video. You're gonna learn linear gradient, you're gonna radio gradient, freeform gradient, and you're gonna do amazing kind of stuff. And yeah, that's what's up. As you can see guys, from this side, you can, that what's up there, you can insert purple, I guess. Oh, purple looks good. And this one, this one's, come on. Yeah. And that's why not least I can keep that black somewhere there. Yeah, no, that's a good. That's very really nice. They look good. Now after that, after that we get our motion looking so nice and clean. And yeah, I present to you guys our motion text by using only Shape Builder. Thank you guys for watching. If you love this video, make sure that you hit that thumbs up. And if you're new here, my name is Abdurrahim12 and make sure that you subscribe to my humble here. I'll really, really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, that's what's up. So thank you guys for watching and I hope some of you guys, you're gonna make something which is so nice. And make sure that you tag me if you're using Instagram by following me at Abdurrahim13. I really, really appreciate that. And uh, go, I'm gonna see what you guys gonna create and make sure that you tag me on your post. So they can check out your artworks and don't hesitate on saturday we're gonna crush a vlog i know some of you guys you have missed me out there for the vlogs and stuff like that i'm gonna introduce to you sunshine those are bloopers and uh, they call it bloopers i don't know what does it mean but it's called bloopers Bloop, bloopers and yeah that's what's up so thank you guys for watching and i'll be catching you guys on the next one and peace be stay creative i just wanted to say be creative and they, they all fall on the same thing, so peace.